Now we'll start into more of our advanced drills. And with this, we're going to start with more of a shuffle action into the throw. We're going to emphasize the right foot, turning in, but it's a shuffle, and we're getting the javelin moving a little faster than we did with the five-step on this drill. Now we're ready to walk into that five-step drill we, we used earlier. So Matt's just going to walk. We've got markers set up. Once he gets near the yellow ball, he's going to withdraw the javelin and do his dynamic five-step throw. With the dynamic five-step drill, we worked on getting across the runway a little faster into a penultimate step, good left side block, and throw over the top. Now we're going to walk into that drill. So Amanda's just going to walk into where the yellow ball is, and then she's going to do her five-step throw. Okay, now that we did the walking five-step, we're ready to advance to more of a jog into the five-step. We still have our markers down, a visual cue for the athletes to know when to withdraw the javelin, but now we're just going to jog into it and get a little more speed. Okay, now again, with the five-step, we're going to do the same type of drill here with the five-step. We're going to back it up a little bit, and we're going to jog into the five-step and be very dynamic after we, after we get moving with the javelin. Good. Nice throw there. Okay, now we're going to go to more of a build-up into the five-step. It's like a full throw, but we really focus on just slowly building up speed into the five-step throw. Our emphasis is always the five-step, and working on getting good speed in the five-step, a good penultimate step, a good right-to-left finish, solid block, finish over the top. So we'll watch Matt. He's going to build up his speed, 
from the back of the runway. Nice easy build up. Every step's a little faster. Real explosive build up. Good tall finish on the throw. When we start with the five-step throw, we usually start with the jab and withdraw, but then when we walk into it or jog into it or try to build more speed into that type of throw, we start with the javelin on the side. You can see it's straight across. It's going to start right by the ear, and then as the javelin thrower moves into that five-step position, they withdraw the javelin back, and then they bring the tip to the temple. You try to keep the javelin as flat as possible, and you want to run with the javelin as fast as you can with controlling the speed where you can get a good throw into the finish. Okay, now we're going to finish off with some drills that we do to work on our run. We're going to run with the javelin withdrawn, with the javelin back. We're going to alternate through into a whole series of exercises to help improve javelin running. Generally, we do these down the runway or down the track you know, anywhere from 20 to 50 meters, working on the run. And we'll do build-ups where we work on the speed of the run. We'll just do regular jogging. We'll do sprinting. We'll do all different types of activities to learn how to run and throw together. So you really have to focus on the run in addition to the throw when you train javelin throwers. Now that we've gone through the basics of the javelin throw, we've taught beginners how to throw the javelin properly. We've gone through the, the buildup of how to go from the front to the back of the runway through a series of different throws. Now we want to perfect some of those activities and work on some drills that will help you get better at the three step and the five step and all the way up to the full throw. So the common problems we see with javelin throwers is their weight gets too far forward. They don't stay back on the right side or they don't get a good penultimate step, their, their block is soft. So we do some drills to work on those different things uh, through a series of what we just call kind of our power position drills to work on hitting those positions on balance and with the body weight in the right positions. Now we're going to go through a series of drills for the power position. So the first drill we do is just a three-step and then the thrower is going to tap their left foot when they finish the throw. This focus is on keeping the body back, good lean, and the, all the weight will be on the right side. Let's do that one more time. So focus on a good penultimate. Weight stays over the right, a good body lean. Javelin's lined up perfectly, all the weight's back on the right side.
So after doing that power position drill from a three step, we're going to back up and do it a little bit longer. And we're going to get maybe a five step or you can, you can pro progressively go back further and further and we'll emphasize hitting the power position with the weight back. Good. See how the body lean is perfect. All the weights on the right side, left foot's out in front with a little narrower base, javelin straight. Let's do that one more time. So again, our focus on this drill is balance and keeping the weight back over the right side, getting a good penultimate. Good. The better you can do this drill, the better you'll be on balance and the better power position you'll hit and you'll get a better throw. Okay, now we're going to add to the drill where we were just kind of walking or slowly building up speed in the hitting the power position. Now we're going to do a strengthening exercise with the right leg. We're going to do a series of little hops and then hit the power position. Good. Try it one more time. So the focus is nice little hops, working on the right leg action, keep the weight over the right side, and just tap the left foot down when you hit. It's a great drill for learning how to get that lean in the javelin, keeping your body weight over the right side. 